And one of these gumshoes could find her. She plays soccer, likes reading scary mysteries, and is vacationed in Charm, Canada. Meet Jennifer Forrest. He's traveled to Ecuador, Italy, France, and England. He'd like to visit Ukraine, where his grandparents were born. Meet Samuel Gaines. She collects foreign coins, plays softball and tennis, and is learning to speak Hebrew and Spanish. Meet Rachel Teller. And here's the senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Fred Lee! Oh, all right, let's see it. Woo. Thank you very much, guys. What a great audience you guys are. Thanks a lot. Hey, Rachel, how you doing? Yeah. Sam, how are you? Jennifer, good to see you. And hey, they're just back from captive audience night at the Big Yard in San Quentin. Rockabella! Oh, yeah. And as you know, the one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America. And as we say here on the program, that is not bad. So let's get started right now with our very first thing, Chief. Who are we after? This is Vic the Slick. Vic the Slick. A felon who follows fashion's three Ps. Plaid, polyester, and pinky rings. His last known whereabouts? Sao Paulo, Brazil. Question. What kind of public health institute becomes a big tourist attraction? Answer, the Butantan Snake Institute in Sao Paulo. You see, although Butantan Snake Farm and Museum are popular tourist stops, the institute was founded as a research center. Since 1901, scientists there have developed antidotes for poisonous snake bites. These days, the institute also produces antidotes for poisonous insects and vaccines for diseases like measles and rabies. And its facilities now include a modern center for biotechnology. But this snake stop got pretty rattled today by a venomous villain <laughs> named Vic. <laughs> the Winking Slinker's latest hijink, taking snakes from their rightful place. <laughs> Vic turned into the Pied Piper of Hyper Vipers and opened his own side <laughs> show. Gumshoes grabbed that gabardine gavacho and solved today's case, the Brazilian reptilian ripoff. Oh yeah, we're on our way, guys. Thanks a lot, Chief. Trying to find Vic and the Snake Institute to help you do that. We're gonna start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks, and the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. I had a fish in my pocket. It's kind of weird, huh? Okay, so let's get started with our very first clue, and for this one, we turn to an average superhero in above-average costume. It's Acme Man! Look out, look out! Wow. Acme Man, Acme Man, if he can do it, maybe anyone can. Not so fast, my friend. That call you're about to drink isn't what it appears to be. Allow me, Acme Man, to change it while I give a clue to my friends at Acme. <laughs> Look for Vic in an airport in a southeastern German city. This airport was designed to be safe for the environment and for nearby neighborhoods. A forest protects homes from aircraft noise, and planes with smoky engines pay extra taxes. Perfect. There you are, my friend. You will never know how close you came to drinking Diet Cola instead of regular. Are you not impressed? Of course you are. Am I not the greatest superhero of all time? Of course I am. For I am Acme Man, and I am going away. Acme Man! He's ours. He's all ours. Thank you. All right, Gumshoes, name the city where Vic took the Snake Institute. Is it Berlin, Munich, or Krakow. Remember the clues that we heard? New airport, big city, and southeast Germany. Could be a little tough, but uh, see what you can do on this one, guys. Once you're ready, hold those answers nice and high. So I know you're ready. Sam is ready. So is Rachel. So is Jennifer. Rachel, we start with you. What do you say? I picked Munich. Munich. Sam. I also picked Munich. Munich. Jennifer. I also picked Munich. Everybody said Munich, and everybody is right. Oh, yeah. Nice job, guys. That's where to start this thing off. So Rachel goes to 60, so does Sam, and so does Jennifer. Nice job, guys. Now, for our next clue, uh, we have a little something here uh, that I Greg, think you're going to... Greg, you. can, can you help me? Can you decipher this stuff that's on my desk? I've got oh. some ice. I've got a yeah. glove. I've yeah. got a copy of the Constitution. Right. Well, I know Vic's in New York State, but where? 
Well, thousands of years ago, western New York was carved up by glaciers, so that's probably your eyes. Then, in the same region, the Six Nations Iroquois Confederacy formed America's first democratic government, which later inspired our fathering fathers. <laughs> that explains the Constitution, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, what about this? Well, the Iroquois believed that the Great Spirit had blessed their land, and when he touched the earth, he left the mark of his hand. Uh. Yeah, you can still see it today. Uh. That's great detective work, Greg. Oh, I've got a dust around here. Yeah, me too. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, name the location, if you will, please. Is it Gloversville, Finger Lakes, or Bird in Hand? Remember the clues that we heard. Western New York State, carved by glaciers, and Iroquois legend. This one could be tricky as well, so be careful here. Come up with an answer as quick as you can. Uh, Jennifer's ready, so is Sam, so is Rachel, all at the same time. Rachel, what do you say? I picked Finger Lake. Finger Lake. Sam? I also picked Finger Lake. Same thing. Jennifer? I also picked Finger Lake. You guys are in agreement once again, and once again, they are correct. Thank you very much. And as you know, folks, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Now, I don't normally do this in the middle of a case, but I, I, you guys know how much I love cowboy art, I think. And uh, uh, I just wanted to show you, I, I love collecting cowboy art, paintings and stuff, and especially paintings by Charlie Russell. I happen to have a slide of one of his things. Can you guys see this? Maybe, well, let me give you a little, can you, can you see that? Hold, wait a second, just, can you see it now? Let me, let me do this for you. Just get really close on the... There you go. Can you see that? All right. See, in his early cowboy days, Russell herded cattle at night and drew pictures during the day. Now, years later, he became so well-known, Russell was asked to paint a huge mural for the state capitol building. You can still visit his old studio in Great Falls in a state that borders Wyoming. You know I love having a jacket that's also a projector, but uh, I really can't find a dry cleaner who will touch it. Okay, guys, uh, name the state, if you will, please. Is it Montana, Oregon, or North Dakota? Remember the clues that we heard? Borders Wyoming, cowboy artist Charlie Russell, and city of Great Falls. Come up with an answer as quick as you can. Rachel's ready, so is Sam, and Jennifer is too. Rachel, what do you say? I picked Montana. Montana. Sam? I also picked Montana. Montana. Jennifer? I also picked Montana. Montana. The answer we're looking for is Montana. Oh, yeah. I like the way this thing is going. So that means Rachel goes up to 80, so does Sam, so does Jennifer. And now, folks, it is time for <laughs> the lightning round. Very nice. As you know, all these questions about Vic's most recent known whereabouts, which is Montana. Give you five enemy crime books every time you answer a question correctly. Hands on the buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Only one high mountain road passes through Montana's Glacier National Park. Is this scenic route called A, going up the mountain road, B, going to the sun road, or C, going to check my antifreeze road? Sam? Going to the sun road? Is right. Nice job. Fire for you. <laughs> Next question. Sacagawea, a Shoshone woman, led these explorers through Montana's mountains in search of a route to the Pacific Ocean. Were they Milton and uh, Rachel? Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark is right. Nice job. Fire for you. Here's the last one. Some Montana colleges offer scholarships for this sport. Is it rodeo riding, gold panning? Sam? Rodeo riding. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. That means at the end of the lightning round, Rachel has 85, Sam 90, Jennifer 80, Acme Crime Bucks. Give them a big round of applause, guys. Good job. Good. All right, now we take the show to a Greg, height. come yes. into my office, please, and bring a number two pencil and a clean sheet of paper. I hate this so much. I hate this. But I'm going to face it like a man. I hate it so much. <clears throat> Hi, Chief. Uh, sit Hi. down at my desk and get ready for a pop quiz. Chief, I didn't study for a oh, pop quiz. Oh, that's win. the beauty of it, Greg. And number your paper from one to four. Listen carefully and keep your eyes on your own paper. Chief, I'm only Question number it. one. How many sides are there to an Acme Triangle? Well, this is going to be a bridge. One, two, three. Bridge. Question number two. The Acme Triangle is an isosceles scalene or equilateral triangle. <laughs> Trick question, Chief. You know, it's really more of a kind of a purplish gray. <laughs> All right, Greg. Uh -huh. This is the oral part of the quiz. Oh, thank you. How does a home viewer contest work? Uh, another easy one, Chief. If you want to win, write down what got stolen and from where every time you watch the show. When you've collected four loots and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. 
Every day we'll pick five people whose list are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here are today's winners. <laughs> Congratulations, Congratulations to, to the, the winners. winners. Okay, okay, last question, Greg. I'm this determines if you pass or fail. I'm ready. Bring it on. <laughs> Tell me the total number of gumshoes have appeared on our show. Uh, 738. Wrong! 735! Right! Remember the celebrity show two years ago? Let me know when that's graded. I'll be in my office. It's a... Oh! The celebrity show! Oh, I forgot about it. All right, guys, pop quiz time for those of you at home. What is really behind this door? The chief's office pinched the word queen's work area or Aunt Loretta's craft table. Come on, let's find out. Come on. <laughs> hey, answer, pinch the word queen. What do you have to say for us? Vic, Acme's closing in. Go to a country east of Suriname. Stash the snakes on Devil's Island. Devil's Island? Where that really nasty dude goes on vacation? No, it's where French convicts were once jailed. The island was surrounded by killer sharks and rough waters, and escape was almost impossible. Jeez, nice neighborhood, Carmen. So what did the crooks do on Devil's Island? Not much. In fact, lots of prisoners lost their minds from boredom and isolation. But don't get nervous, Vic. You don't have a mind to lose. Well, one of those rare times I actually uh, agree with Carmen. Okay, guys, name the place, if you will, please. Is it Ecuador, Paraguay, or French Guiana? Remember the clues that we heard, East of Suriname and Devil's Island. Rachel, what do you think? I picked French Guiana. French Guiana. Sam? I also picked French Guiana. French Guiana. Jennifer? I also picked French Guiana. French Guiana. The answer we're looking for is French Guiana. Nice job, guys. That's interesting. You know, a lot of people like Carmen think that French Guiana is a country. Actually, it is a department of France. So, something there we all learned. Okay, guys, so that means Rachel has 95, Sam has 100, Jennifer 90, Acme Crime Bucks. For our next clue, we turn to the hippin' and hoppin' and meowing bite and scratch. Fellas? Hanging with the jeans, Vicks never stop. In East Africa's where the slick one is chilling. Check out Nairobi and the Maasai Mara, then scope out the view of Mount Kilimanjaro. Like the snakes, he stole Vic's slithering slime. But bad plant suits are his biggest crime. Don't you clue shoes, it's time to get rock and make Vic hear the sound of his jail cell rocking. Dumb shoes, name the country where Vic has taken the Snake Institute. Is it Kenya? Nigeria or Mozambique. Remember the clues that we heard. Eastern Africa, Nairobi and Maasai Mara, and Mount Kilimanjaro can be seen from here. That ought to give you enough to uh, find all that stuff. Sam is ready, so is Rachel, and Jennifer is ready, too. So, Rachel, what do you say, buddy? I picked Kenya. Kenya. Sam? I also picked Kenya. Kenya. Jennifer? I also picked Kenya. Everybody said Kenya, and I'm happy to announce that once again, they're all correct. Thank you. So that means Rachel goes up to 105, Samuel has 110, Jennifer 100 Acme crying bucks. Now we received word that Vic has left Kenya, so you know what we're going to do. Pick up the J. What the J? What is it? What? Oh, man. We're going to continue this show t on tomorrow, so uh, be with us when the chase is over. Uh, all these worth five Acme crying bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Vic slithered with the snakes to Australia's capital. Name it. Sam? Canberra. Uh, Canberra's right. Next, he navigated his way to New Caledonia. What sea did he cross? Sam? Oral. Is right. Vic vanished around Suva, the capital of what island group? Sam? Fiji. Yes. He sneaked a submarine to the eastern half of New Guinea. Sam? Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea's right. He slid, slid the snakes across the border. Uh, Rachel? Malaysia? Sorry, it's Indonesia. That means at the end of the chase round, Rachel has 105, Sam 130, Jennifer 100, Acme Crime Bucks. Give him a big round of applause, guys. <laughs> now the time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the wor world where we think Vic is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. <laughs> Okay, everybody's ready for our last and final clue of the round. To the alley. Hey, 
What is going on out here? Oh, the rapping Chris B. Hey, I should have known. What's going on? What's happening, man? Well, the kids are the clue, and I got a tip for the gum shoes. Oh, Jared. I hear you hunting dick Vic, he's got mad snakes, yo. Lucky that you asked me, cause I'm in the know. Where the Vic's the ghost, he causes trouble major. Now he's in the country, both in Europe and Asia. Cappadocia, yeah, not out of coffee brand. He's a rocky region where stones litter the land. Pinnacles and cones are volcanic rocks. Worn by erosion like my brother's old socks. There are underground cities still left to find. Chiseled out churches from way past times. I give another hand, another do re me. Sits on the mi making a me Mediterranean sea. They have some cheapest. The rapping Chris B, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for him. Come on. Thanks, hey, Chris. <laughs> rapping Chris B and the Bold and Greg Lee, all on one big show. Okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Romania, Turkmenistan, or Turkey? Remember the clues that we heard? Country in both Europe and Asia, on Mediterranean, and Cappadocia region has volcanic stone. Once you're ready, put those uh, answers right down there, right down there in front of you guys. Jennifer's ready, so is Sam, so is Rachel. And uh, Jennifer, we're going to start with you. You have 100 Acme crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 10 crime bucks. 10 crime bucks. What'd you say, Jennifer? What'd you say, Jennifer? <laughs> Anytime you're ready. Don't let me rush you. We're just trying to get a show going. Okay. What do you say? No, you're doing fine. No. We want the green card, whatever this says. What does it say? Turkey is right. Yeah. Good job, buddy. He just wants to drink, string that out a little bit. It takes you up to uh, 110. We're going to go to Rachel now. You have 105. How much did you risk? 20. 20 crime bucks. What'd you say, Rachel? I also picked turkey. Nice job, Rachel. Takes you up to 125. Sam, you have 130 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 20. 20 crime bucks. Take you to 150. If you're right, you and Rachel will go on to the next round. What'd you say? I said turkey. Nice job, Samuel. You and Rachel going on to the next round. Jennifer, buddy, put it right there. You played a great game. You got some great stuff for you. Cheap. Vic the Slick can be one top customer when he wants to be. Fortunately, we equip our gumshoes with the latest in crime-fighting equipment. Take, for example, this Mickey Acme Travel Pack. Inside, you'll find an Acme. The official Carmen T-shirt. A subscription to National Geographic World Magazine and our Acme Voice Identification Badge and Leave a Message Wallet. Help! Help! Get me out of here! Limpy? Is that you, Limpy? Are you doing repairs? You got stuck in there again? Oh, what the... Hold on. Let me get a screwdriver. Dangerous work. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys. Time to go to Turkey. You guys are all packed and ready Greg, to go. Could you get some crossword yes. puzzles from Fern? That way I'll have something to do on the plane. Absolutely, Chief. We're going to Turkey. Get the hat. Get the door. I got the Chief. We're going to Turkey as soon as we can get out of the office. Here we go. Chief, I'll promise anything. Just let me on the plane, man. Repeat after me. I will never play tricks on the Chief again. Okay, Gumshoes, here we are in Turkey. You know where to go. Very good. So do I. So does the Chief. Listen carefully. Here we go. Chief. All right, Gumshoes. There are 15 places here in Turkey where you might find Vic the Slick, the Warrant, or the Snake Institute. Here are a few. First stop, the Isak Pasha Palace, where you'll find plenty of <laughs> slithering space for snakes. There are 366 rooms of ruins in which to wreak reptile wreckage. Since you're doing the palace thing, check out St. Peter's Castle, the stunning main attraction in Bodrum. Search its snake tower, named for the serpent plaque over the entrance. Seems like a surefire place to pick up a trail. Incredible! People standing in the snow in Speedos. No, actually, that's not snow. Those are natural limestone formations with pools of water and people standing in Speedos. Remember Cappadocia? It's not a coffee drink. It's this volcanic stone region with homes carved throughout. Well, that's your briefing, Gumshoes. Now slither on out of here and go stick a constrictor on Vic. We'll do it, Chief. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay, it's loot, warrant, and crook. That's the order. Sam, you had the most again in the last round. You go first. Tigris River. Tigris River. Down in the corner there. Yeah. Woo. Turn around, nothing there. Rachel, your turn. Velvet Castle. <laughs> Velvet Castle. Ooh, another corner one. Okay, nothing there. Sam, what do you say? Crying Rock of Niobe. Uh, Crying Rock of Neobe. <laughs> <laughs> Turn back around, nothing there. Rachel, go ahead. Silk Cocoon Fair. Silk Cocoon Fair. 
Vic the Slick. Nice job. You got Vic the Slick. But remember, it has to go in the right order. Loot warrant and then crook. Be careful, Rachel. Golden horn. Golden horn. Elliot's been there. No kidding. Is that true, Elliot? That's right. Okay. We're turning both back around. Sam, your turn. At Turk Airport? At a Turk Airport. Nothing there. We turn back around. Rachel, your turn. Two's Lake. Two's Lake. The warrant. Nice job. You got the warrant. You get a free turn. Remember, though, bud, loot warrant and then crook. Be careful. Velvet Castle. Velvet Castle. Nice strategy. We turn both of them back around. Sammy, your turn. Mount Ararat. Mount Ararat. Nope, nothing there. Rachel. Oh, so, Paxi Palace. Um... Top copy. Uh, top copy. That's how you say it. Top copy palace. Hicken, sneaking. I, I forgot for a minute there. You have the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Two's Lake. Two's Lake. The, the warrant. warrant. You, buddy, have the loot and the warrant. Can you find the crook? Silk Cocoon Fair. Is the crook at the Silk Cocoon Fair? This yeah. Is the <laughs> you won. Ba -da -ba -da. Buddy, has got to know what to do for that change. But I'm here. Yeah. Rachel, and you said you were nervous. You were great. Stay right there. We'll talk to you in just a little bit. First off, fantastic job, buddy. Great case. Got some great case stuff for you. Chief, hey, don't let those criminals get you down. Watch this. Okay, that's the button that turns off the TV. Now, this is the one that lets you write secret messages. And this is one that zaps it through the air to another secret sender. What else does this baby do? It stores names and addresses, keeps your busy schedule organized, reads your daily horoscope. And if I press this button, yep, that's the one that shows the Acme travel pack. Upside down. Lemke! Hey, you, Chief. All right, buddy, here is your scallop portfolio. Inside, there's a piece of paper and a pen. And you told me what? You said... She going. knows where she's going. We're not going to waste a lot of time here. Open up, piece of paper, pen. Got everything going. Okay, guys, start the music. <laughs> Question about it, you knew. So how long do you want to go there? <laughs> no kidding. Ron, you want to hit? Oh, thank you very much, Ron. Oh, thank you. Is that all I'm going to get? Is that it? Okay, thank you. Hello. She's right here. Hello. Darn that, Carmen. I've gone from salesman of the century to starch and socks in the prison laundry. I'm climbing down the ladder of success. Look for Carmen in Asia. Okay, Rachel, you and I are after Carmen San Diego. Chief, what can you tell us? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Jordan. <laughs> Yemen. <laughs> Caspian Sea. <laughs> Persian Gulf. <laughs> Uzbekistan. <laughs> China. <laughs> Myanmar. <laughs> Thailand. Cambodia, Malaysia, South China Sea, North Korea, Russia. Greg, let's go to the map. Feel good. All right, right over here is where you go. You know what to do, right? Yes. Okay, uh, 8 and 45 seconds to get you to the trip. If you happen to run into one of these, it's a body of water, okay? Where's Josh? Nice place. Nice lot, man. Okay, 8 and 45 seconds. Grab one of those markers. Let's get 45 seconds up on the... Uh, there it is. Get ready, cheer on, guys. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Come on with the Caspian Sea. Caspian Sea. Do it. Do it. Try it again. Try it again. Caspian Sea. Caspian Sea. Hurry, Rachel. Hurry, Rachel. Come on back. Come on back. Cebu, Malaysia. 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 Do it, buddy. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, let's go. Yangon, Myanmar. 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 Do it. Do it. Yeah. Uzbekistan, Uzbekistan, do it. Yeah. South China Sea, South China Sea, do it. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Yongyang, North Korea, North Korea. Go, buddy, go. Yeah. Yemen, Sana Yemen, Yemen, Yemen. Go. Yeah. Persian Gulf, Persian Gulf. Oh. Six in 45 seconds. Give her a big round of applause, guys. Good run, buddy. Here, come right this way. Come this way. Excellent run. Very nice job. You did what we asked you to do. You got the crook. Chief, what do you say? We know it's a tough job, but you did find the loot and you did catch the crook. So you deserve a reward. How's this? 
a new portable CD music system, complete with stereo speakers, a cassette deck, AM, FM radio, and this collection of music from around the world. You made it. You're a sleuth. Congratulations. Put it right there, sleuth. Get one of these. Thank you. Listen, my friend, you've been doing a lot of great stuff for us today. There's one more thing, though, I want you to do. You know what it is? And remember, we'll bust a gal, we'll bust a fella. We'll melt crooks down like mozzarella. Yeah. 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 Yeah.